SolarEdge's new energy bank battery, Generac's power cell battery. Which is the better battery backup system for your home? We're going to be answering that question and explaining a whole lot more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past nine years, I've been helping homeowners achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge, you're gonna find a lot of pro uh, solar product review and comparison videos, uh, as well as new product launch announcements. Uh, and so if you're in the process of evaluating solar power options for your home, especially if you're considering doing a battery backup with your solar system, then you're gonna to wanna to watch today's video. In today's presentation, I'm bringing you a head-to-head -head comparison between the Solar Edge Energy Bank battery system and the Generac Power Cell battery system. And for today's video, we're gonna be talking about customers or homeowners that are looking for whole house backup type solutions or, or heavy load backup type solutions where you wanna run things like uh, maybe your well pump or your air conditioner or shop equipment even. Now, we're gonna be doing the evaluation along five categories. Each category can award a maximum of five points for a maximum total score of 25 points. Those categories are power, including both peak power and continuous running power, uh, the storage capacity of the battery system, the warranty, of course the cost of the product and the cost to have it installed, and then what I like to call the X factor. Uh, and what the X factor is, is it's a way that we can award additional points for each product where there might not be a direct apples to apples or head to head comparison, but where some unique features could have tremendous impact or benefit for you as a potential system owner. Now, before we jump into the comparison, let's talk a little bit of background on these two products. Now, both of these battery systems are what's called a DC coupled battery system. Uh, and what that means is that the connection between the solar panels and the solar power system and the battery system happens on the DC side of the system. Or another way to say it is, the battery can be directly charged from the solar panels without having to go through an inversion or a transformation. Now, those of you familiar with this, you'll recall that all grid-tied solar power systems have to have some sort of an inverter or an inversion that happens in the system. And what that means is that it takes direct current DC power, which is what natively comes off of solar panels and what comes out of batteries, is DC power, constant voltage. However, our electric grid and our homes are wired for AC power, or alternating current. So you can imagine the voltage fluctuates up and down, up and down in a wave-like pattern versus a battery or a solar panel just provides constant voltage all the time. And so, there's two main types of battery backup systems. There's AC coupled system and DC coupled system. And again, when we talk about coupled, what we're really saying is where do the solar panels and the batteries meet? On the DC side directly or after an inversion where it's converted from DC to AC. So uh, both of these are DC coupled systems, which means they will perform better and more efficient in a grid down mode. Again, because you can directly recharge the batteries from solar panels without having to convert it. Uh, remember guys, anytime that you have to convert or transform electricity, there's a little bit of energy lost, most of it as heat, whenever you're doing that transformation. So if you can directly charge your solar panels with DC current coming off the solar, directly charging a DC battery, then that's gonna give you more efficient performance. The second thing I should mention about this is that these are both closed systems, meaning that if you go with a solar edge uh, inverter system or, or the solar edge energy bank battery, it means you're gonna be using solar edge optimizers on the roof as well as the solar edge monitoring app. So it really is one integrated end-to-end -end solution. So you have solar edge as well as with Generac. If you go with the Generac battery, that means you're gonna use the Generac power cell inverter, the Generac power view app, as well as the Generac PV link optimizers on the roof. So again, this is an integrated end-to-end -end system. And that really is one of the, the big trends that I would say that I'm seeing in the industry now is that, you know, back in the old days when I got started, let's say, I guess I'm going on 10 years now, 
Um, it was very common to have modular system. You have inverter from one company, you take batteries from a different company, you might have a monitoring system from a different company and a charge controller from a different company. And, and you put all that together to make your system. Now we're not really seeing that anymore. What we're seeing is that the system really centers around the inverter manufacturer and we're seeing the inverter manufacturers now bring in their own components, whether it's their monitoring software, their optimizers, their batteries, bringing it all under one umbrella and one warranty. And then the last thing I should mention is both of these systems are expandable. We'll talk more about that later in the comparison, but again, the configuration that we're talking about for today's video is a two Solar Edge Energy Bank configuration or a Generac PowerCell 18, which is, which is the maximum size you can get with a single battery cabinet. All right, let's get into the comparison. Okay, first up is the Solar Edge Energy Bank. In terms of power rating, the dual Solar Edge Energy Bank has a continuous power rating of 10 kilowatts with surge power up to 15 kilowatts. So again, guys, if you're looking at, at heavy loads backup or whole house type backup for your house, and you don't wanna just run the essentials like maybe your home office and the refrigerator, if you wanna be able to run heavy loads like well water pumps or air conditioning compressors, the dual energy bank configuration is gonna give you ample capacity to do that. In terms of storage capacity, the dual energy bank gives you a 19.4 kilowatt hour usable storage capacity. So when you talk about storage capacity, it's essentially how much energy can you hold onto for use if you're in a grid down situation, especially during evening hours where the solar can't really support any of the loads. So all of that has to come off the battery. So very adequate with the energy reserve here with two energy bank batteries. Uh, in terms of the warranty, the energy bank comes with what is really becoming the standard 10 year battery warranty. And in terms of cost, it's gonna be middle of the road in terms of cost, or if you're looking for an exact figure, about twenty dollars to $25,000 for a fully installed dual energy bank system. And then in terms of X factor, I'm gonna give the energy bank plus four X factor points. And it's, it's really not so much for the battery itself, but it's, it's the overall solar edge, what they call energy hub inverter and the related accessories. So with the energy hub inverter, not only can you connect battery backup for redundancy or for peak, peak rate avoidance, but it also gives you the ability to connect an EV charger and it gives you the ability to connect a, a generator, like a fuel burning generator. Now, as many of you will recall, if your goal is maximum backup and maximum redundancy, oftentimes we advise you to have a generator backup to your solar. So let's say you're in a grid down situation uh, and you know you have inclement weather for a prolonged period of time where the, the solar is just not producing as much because there's not enough sunlight out. Having the generator hookup option gives you a third level backup where you can fire up the generator, plug it in, and then recharge your batteries that way. So it's, it's not that you have to run the generator uh, 24 seven as your only power source. You can use the generator as an auxiliary battery charging method and then switch back to running off your batteries for another couple of days. So it does help you stretch and conserve your fuel as well. The other advantage I, I would say with the Solar Edge is that the Solar Edge is compatible with all the top brands of generators. So it's not where you have to be tied into any one specific generator company, uh, unlike the Generac system, which we're going to talk about in a moment. All right, let's take a look at the Generac system now. Hey guys, if you're in the process of evaluating solar power options for your home, uh, if you've already had price quotes or if you need to get a price quote or a comparison quote, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there and we'd be happy to set up a short virtual meeting with you and one of our system designers and we can provide some designs and some numbers for you. Okay, taking a look at the Generac PowerCell battery now. And again, we are looking at the PowerCell 18 kilowatt hour, which is the largest configuration for a single battery cabinet. In terms of power rating, you're looking at a continuous power rating of 9,000 watts with surge power up to 11,000 watts. So similar to the energy bank with the dual batteries, but actually a little bit slightly underpowered. Uh, again, if you're looking at uh, running heavy loads like water pumps or air conditioners, you can still handle that with the PowerCell 18 battery. The only thing is you may not be able to run all of those heavy loads at the same time. And so we're gonna need some sort of a load management capability, which I'll talk about in a moment. 
Uh, in terms of storage capacity, as, as the name implies, the PowerCell 18 provides 18 kilowatt hours of energy storage. So again, very ample energy storage, especially if you consider if you're in a grid down situation, running off the battery, really only overnight, because the solar is gonna be carrying the home most of the day. So 18 kilowatt hours gives you an adequate reserve to keep all of your critical systems powered on throughout the night, whether that's your refrigerator, your computer, your internet router, your TV box, all of that should be well handled with the 18 kilowatt hour budget. Uh, again, like most of the leading brands, it uh, comes with a 10-year standard warranty. Uh, and in terms of cost, I would say also middle of the road in terms of cost. Or if you're looking for a specific figure, about twenty dollars to $25,000 for a fully installed PowerCell 18 system. And in terms of X-Factor, I'm going to give the PowerCell 18 three additional X-Factor points. And it mainly has to do with Generac's intelligent load management capability. So what the intelligent load management allows you to do is, even though you might have a slightly smaller battery, it allows you to put the entire house on battery backup, where the Generac software actually will help you determine or, or it will actually switch on and switch off individual appliances for you to make sure that if there's not enough power to run everything at once, the system will power down the lower priority items to make sure power stays on to your higher priority items. And, and these are priorities that you can set at the time of installation. So for example, you might prioritize your refrigerator and your water pump as high priority needs. You never wanna be without the fridge and without water. However, your, your air conditioning compressor might be further down the list. So if there was a situation where maybe the battery's draining down, there's not enough to run the, the well pump and the air conditioning compressor at the same time, as long as the well pump is set to higher priority, the system will know to allow the well pump to pump the water in, fill the pressurizing tank, and then once the well pump powers down, then allow the air conditioner or other lower priority items to power on. And the system handles all of that for you automatically. So if we look at the side-by-side -side comparison here, the dual energy bank system gives you continuous power of 10 kilowatts with surge up to 15 kilowatts compared to nine kilowatts continuous, 11 kilowatts peak on the PowerCell 18. The dual energy bank will provide 19.4 kilowatt hour storage compared to 18 kilowatt hours on the Generac PowerCell system. Both systems come with that industry standard 10 year warranty and both are middle of the road in terms of cost of installation, which again, you should expect around 20 to $25 for a total installed cost with a warranty. And then in terms of the X factor, the energy bank solution from SolarEdge earns plus four X-Factor points. The main advantage being you can use any type generator with the energy bank system, or at least any of the leading brands, as well as the EV charger function. With PowerCell 18, receiving, uh, receiving plus three X-Factor points, because it does support generator integration, although it's only the Generac power generator that's supported at this time, uh, and having the intelligent load management. So you can have the whole house on backup, with the system balancing out the loads for you. So if we total it up, Energy Bank receives four out of five on power, four out of five on storage capacity, five out of five on warranty, four out of five on cost, and plus, additional, plus four additional X Factor points for a total of 21 points. For the Generac Power Cell, receives three out of five on power, three out of five on storage capacity, five out of five on warranty, four out of five on cost, and plus three X-Factor points for a total of 18 points. So guys, if I had to pick one system over the other, all things being equal, I would recommend the Solar Edge Energy Bank system. Uh, if you just need a, a critical loads backup only, you could use a, a smaller single Energy Bank battery. Um, when I say critical loads only, we're talking about refrigerator, lights, well pump, maybe the office and the TV, but no air conditioning. Or with this configuration here, you can even run uh, heavy loads like the central air conditioning compressor. Um, however, guys, most of these comparison videos, again, it's not to say one brand is, or is better than the other or one company is better than the other, but it's really to help you, if, if you're a homeowner going through this evaluation process on your own, to make sure that you're making an informed decision about which equipment to select for your solar installation. 
Hey guys, as always, if you are in the process of looking at options for your home uh, and you'd like to get a price quote, or maybe you already have a price quote and you just want to get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting a good deal, uh, as always, feel free to, to reach out to us on the link below there. And again, it'll just take you to our website. You can set up a short virtual meeting with one of our designers here, and we can provide a system design and a firm fixed price quote for your information as well. Well, folks, this has been a presentation of Solar Edge Energy Bank versus Generac Power Cell Battery. Uh, as always, if you're getting good value from the information on the channel here, please be sure to go ahead and click on the like button so that way YouTube knows to show the video to more people. Uh, and also, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. We're going to be publishing right now probably two to three videos per week all about solar equipment, solar product comparisons, and what you need to know uh, if you're a homeowner going through this process right now. Well, thank you for tuning into the Solar Surge channel today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.